about 35 to 38 feet long, not exactly sure, and it is a fifth wheel. This is, RV is like a dream come true for us. We have always wanted to get an RV and renovate it into a tiny house. So that's what we did and inside we completely like changed everything so I'm really excited for you to see it. This is right now our home away from home. We thought about living in it full time and we still might but right now we have our house and we have this little house. So come on in. One of the first things we did was get this little keypad lock on here which is awesome because you never have to worry about having your little keys or anything like that and you can just beep 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 beep. Kind of obnoxious when you're at the RV park, but it's an extra added safety. Come on into our dream home. We got it used and it was already painted white, but we made some major, major changes to it. So I'll show you some before and some after, but come this way with me. This is the living room. moved the dinette over here into the living room area out of the kitchen area it was originally in there and what we did is we covered these seats with an organic cover and then we replaced the tabletop with a butcher block table and we painted it all like a cream kind of color we also replaced a lot of the light fixtures anything before um, and we put we bought this couch everything in this RV from the paint to the materials we use everything is organic and as non-toxic as we could make it including this cap this futon is um, from the futon shop and it's all organic and it folds out to a queen size bed so we can sleep like two more people over here we also installed a projector um, and a pull projector screen so we can watch the movie night. You pull it down from the ceiling like this and you can watch movies, you can watch sports games, you can watch anything and it's really really fun. husband's work and what he does is he buys and sells vinyl records so he needed like a lot of space for vinyl records and these drawers are made perfectly to fit vinyl records in them 13 by 13 13 by 13 and then this uh, stool chair for the desk is also 13 by 13 more records in here what's really cool about this desk is this guy built this extra little table here that just pulls out to give much more extra desk space while my husband's working but also it could be used as extra space for like cooking and stuff all of the top here is original we just painted over it and there is so much space for records for books for other things there used to be a TV here, but we took it out and now it's just like a deep, deep shelf. Because we moved the dinette out of this area, we now have this entire area for whatever we want it to be. If our son wants to play or we need extra seating for people or whatever it might be, we have this whole extra space. Over here, we put a chalkboard wallpaper for our son to play and it's really cool because it kind of like keeps him busy. It's like he can literally color on the walls now. We put it right on the back of the dinette so that it's just a perfect spot for him to play here and draw on the chalkboard. Kitchen. 
all of the cabinets were originally here, but a lot has changed. So we have taken out the stove and oven that used to be here, and now it's just butcher block straight across. And under here where the oven used to be is just an extra cabinet that goes really, really, really deep. Also, over here used to be the microwave, and in our home home, we don't use a microwave at all, so we figured we probably wouldn't use one here either. So instead, what we did is we hung this picture up that my husband made for me, and then you just open it like this, and there's a lot of extra space back there. So this RV has so much storage space. The guy who built this top also carved out a really cool cutting board and it just fits right into the sink. And so it's perfect. And we also replaced the sink. So the sink is now a brand new white sink with a brand new faucet. Pull down faucet. All of the fixtures in here are kind of like rose gold rust Ish. So instead of cooking on the propane stove, we decided to just get a hot plate and it works perfectly. So we just keep it up here and when we want to use it, you just grab it, put it here, and you cook. And then when you're done, you put it back and you have all of that countertop space. We put in an electric refrigerator instead of the propane one and it's just it's the perfect size for us. Our RV is named the Bird's Nest and we named it before we named the YouTube channel. <laughs> so we've had this RV longer than we've had the YouTube channel. The ceilings in this RV are also really really high. I don't know how high they are but it goes all the way up there and there's even space on top of the cabinets to put stuff if you ever need it to. Also the entire floor has been redone. This used to be, I'll show you the before pictures, but this was completely different. Now it's vinyl wood flooring, um, but it's actually from a company called California Vinyl. I think California Vinyl or something like that. And it is very, very, very low VOC. So a lot of vinyl floorings that you put down um, have, live up high levels of VOCs. And this one doesn't, and it also has a cork underneath, which makes like it really quiet to walk around. So if someone's in the bedroom and you're out here and someone's sleeping, they don't hear you moving around. So this floor is awesome. This is just the original cabinet that came where all of the controls are. I don't know anything about this part because this is what my husband does, but these are where the controls for the slides and the, the tanks and all of that stuff go. And then this is just like a little coat closet. It's kind of shallow. Wish it was bigger, but it's okay. All of the knobs in the RV we replace also with these just plain wooden ones. It used to be all silver and I don't love silver. So over here, what the builder did also was install the, for the steps, so you can put more storage in, which I thought was so awesome. And then going into the bedroom and bathroom through this door, you can also lock this door like that. Another cool thing about this door that we asked the builder to put in is this barrier because there was always a space underneath the door so now this barrier can be put up and we can have our animals in here without them freaking out and going in and out we, they can be in the living room if we're in the bedroom and it just snaps right back in like that all right come on into the bedroom <laughs> <It's so close. laughs> okay this is also another step that opens to a big, big, big compartment down there. Literally, this RV has the most storage that I have seen in any RV.
has more than our house. It has more than our house. <laughs> actually kind of attached to the bedroom which I don't like if I could change one thing it would be that it would be separate by the way it's like 95 degrees in here right now we didn't turn the air conditioner on before we started so we're sweating okay we didn't do anything to the shower we changed we completely changed this but this wallpaper it's stick on and it completely fell off in the heat this is new I got this from Amazon. It's really small and it fits perfectly into this little spot. So we love this little vanity. And here is the toilet. So the toilet is actually separated and it's just this little room and we painted it. That's all we did in here. And we put in the nature set composting toilet. So this RV can have a regular toilet, but we also hooked it up to have the composting toilet and we love it. Do we love it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love the composting toilet. This is like all it's supposed to be all the storage for the bathroom, but we never need this much storage for the bathroom. So it's just like extra clothes for me, I guess. So this um, bedroom could actually fit a king size, but right now we have a queen bed in here. Um, we didn't see much in here. It was already painted white. We changed these doors. I put in these sliding doors and there is so much room in this closet. It's ridiculous. It goes all the way back because it can be hooked up for a um, washer dryer combo and we put little touches in there like these cedar hangers and stuff like that everything in here is safe and healthy for you we did end up taking out over here there was a dresser here and we completely took it out just to have extra walking space over here and also because we could fit a um, travel size crib over here too so it's actually perfect and then our builder actually installed this table as well for my work. And it's really cool. It was just leftover butcher block from the countertop and the table. And you can just take it and just flip it right down. So it's awesome like that. Just flips up and down. And then I can pull up a chair here and just work. While the bathroom is in, still in the bedroom, the RV did come with this accordion kind of door that can separate it. This is our home away from home and we really considered moving into it full time. Um, it's still something we might consider in the future, but as of right now, it's just like our second little home and we're, we love it. Okay, ready? Yeah. So instead of cooking on the propane up stove, and then these fixtures, all the fit, all of the knobs, and all the knobs. <laughs> <laughs> So that you don't waste any water. I need water. Oh god. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Hi. 